Hi, I'm Ben Hasty, and we are in beautiful South Berwick, Maine on Breezy Hill Farm, which is the farm that I was born and raised. Um, today I'm going to be making a curried cauliflower dish. Um, really tasty, fast, healthy dish. Um, I'm going to start out by cutting the cauliflower into a couple large chunks. We'll have our cauliflower steaks and into a pan with some pure olive oil. Um, I really recommend using pure oil or canola oil in situations like this. Um, extra virgin oil is really nice, really trendy right now, but it's much nicer for finishing and for low temperature sauteing. Um, with using pure or canola or duck fat or clarified butter, you have a higher smoke point, so you're gonna get less of a scorched flavor. Um, so I'm gonna start out by adding my cauliflower to my hot pan. i liberally season with some kosher salt, which is what I recommend most of all for everyday cooking. Um, sea salt is really nice um, for finishing or for, for table salt shakers, but I don't think that it's as nice when you're trying to evenly distribute. Um, kosher salt has a nice coarse grain, so can't recommend that enough. So I'm also gonna add a little bit of curry powder, which is gonna kind of give the, a little bit of a spicy, earthy note to the cauliflower, which is naturally pretty sweet. So a little bit of Madras curry. So. I'm gonna let this brown for around two to three minutes and then turn it over and season the other side. All right, so I'm gonna turn over the cauliflower in the pan. I'm gonna take an offset spatula. And be gentle, because I don't wanna knock the cauliflower all apart. If it falls apart naturally, that's fine, but I'm trying to maintain its natural beauty right now. You can see I've got a little golden crust going on. It's really kind of searing in some of the beautiful curry flavor. Let's season this side. A little bit of salt. A little bit of curry. A little bit more fresh ground black pepper. At this point, I'm gonna put this in a 500 degree oven for around 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'll check it. Obviously, sometimes the density of the cauliflower might be a little bit different. Everyone's oven is different, so it might take a little longer or it might be done. So we'll check in 10. All right, so while the cauliflower is roasting in the oven, I'm gonna make a really simple chutney slash relish to accompany it. Um, now, this is one of my favorite recipes to do. Um, because it's extremely versatile. This is really delicious with the cauliflower. It can be put in a blender or pureed with a stick blender and a really nice accoutrement with um, a dense piece of fish or a uh, or a chicken or a poultry dish. It's really nice and sweet, spicy and funky. So I'm starting off with some jalapeno. that I've diced up, no seed. Seed's where a lot of the heat on the jalapeno comes. And although I love the spice, I don't, wanna, I don't want this to be scorching hot. I've got my jalapeno sweating in the butter. Take a little bit of ginger and garlic. Microplane that right in. And I'm basically gonna let this stir or uh, saute until I can smell the aroma of the garlic and ginger. See, we got some nice bubbles going on. Just starting to smell my garlic and ginger, which means they're starting to caramelize, which is where I wanna be. I'm gonna take some raisins, if you like 
Uh, traditional raisins, these are awesome. If you like golden raisins, really nice as well. Just the one thing with golden raisins, um, if you don't like super sweet, I might stay away because I find golden raisins wind up releasing quite a bit more sugar. So, add those in. And I'm going to kind of let those caramelize in that butter, ginger, jalapeno, garlic mixture. By letting it slowly caramelize, you're really releasing the sugars and really kind of letting the raisin be all that it can be. But you have to constantly be stirring because it does have a lot of sugar and stickiness going on in there. You can wind up having a scorch pretty easily. I'm also going to add just a little pinch of curry powder. And again, when I smell the curry, it's telling me that it is toasted. It's adding its fragrance to my raisins. And now I'm going to add around a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Let that reduce for around 30 seconds. The raisins are soaking up all that juice right now. You can see it's slowly starting to become a glaze. I'm going to set it off to the side. Let it rest for around 20 minutes and it's ready to go. All right, so it's been around 10 minutes. Cauliflower is nice golden yellowish roasted brown and tender. So leave it nice big steaks because cauliflower is another one of those vegetables that I find really beautiful just left alone. And I'm gonna finish it with our lovely little chutney. fresh sprigs of cilantro. So we've kind of got Indian flavors going on. Really nice accent. That's that. Roasted cauliflower with curry. A little raisin ginger garlic chutney.